Welcome to You Can Do It. This is just a little uh, post video after um, taking the subframe off. If you've taken your subframe off, I mean, we took the subframe off here to change the dual mass flywheel. It doesn't matter why you've taken the subframe off. If you've taken the subframe off, and put it back as best you can. Um, but there'll always be a uh, possibility of a little bit of um, the steering isn't set in exactly the same place as it was before you took it off. So um, I've done like a thousand miles in this now since, and it's just a little bit annoying. Instead of being, the steering wheel being dead flat here, it's just a little bit to that side. Now maybe yours is to that side or that side or whatever, but I'll just show you how we can sort that out. So at the moment, the steering wheel is a little bit, it's probably like less than about five degrees to that side. But um, this tracking was all set before I took the subframe off. So now I'm just gonna show you how we can quickly reset that. So if we know that the, the tires were set the tracking was set before we took the subframe off then it's just a case of adjusting it the same on both sides now i'll show you later in the video how if your tracking was completely off we can we can very uh, roughly set that as well so at the moment i know my steering wheel is like that when i'm going along the straight which means when it's like that it means my uh, i'm in a left hand drive here but that means the, the driver's side uh, wheel is sticking out that far so what i need to do the driver's side wheel needs to come out that little bit and obviously the passenger side needs to come in okay so let's show you how how we can do that so what i'll do is i'll start it up so the first things first i'll do it doesn't really matter which side you do first but i'm going to do the driver's side on the left hand drive which will be a passenger side on a right hand drive so i've turned started the engine i've turned the wheel fully that way so now i'm going to go outside and we'll, we'll uh, do the do the adjustment Right, all we need tools wise is an adjustable spanner and a and a 12 mil a 12 mil spanner or I've got a 12 mil ring here. Let's get to it. Okay? So we've basically we've turned the wheel here fully. So we're inside here. So to take your adjustable spanner, you need to undo just undo that one. Oh, I just have to do that with two hands for that. So let's let me loosen that off. Okay, that's loose now. Look. That not there's loose. So then what we need to do now, because, because this steering, this, this remember this steering arm needs to come this way because the, the wheel was like that. So I need to straighten it like that, which means this needs to come this way. Let's put a 12 mil spanner, 12 mil spanner or socket on there. Now I'm going to do quarter of a turn. So I'm just going to do quarter of a turn on both sides. So you put it on there and we'll just turn that down like that. That's quarter of a turn. So I'm just going to do quarter of a turn until both sides and then drive it and see how it is and keep going like that. Now what I need to do is tighten that up. So just let me put the spanner on that, baby. I'll just tighten that up. Not too tight because we're there we up. That's tight enough. So now let's go over to the other side. So what's what adjusting that has done, I've pushed this wheel out just a little bit. Yeah. So when the, when the wheels are straight now, this wheel is gonna come out a little bit, which is what I wanted to have. So now on the other side, I need to do the opposite. I need to pull the wheel in. So let's go to the other side. So before I can get, even get to the other side, I need to start this up again. And I need to turn my wheel all the way around to the other side. There we are. So now I can get, should be able to get to the other side. So let's get over there. Okay, we're on the other side here now. Now I've, um, I've loosened I've already I've already loosened this, yeah. So now remember, put this on here. We need to do ninety degrees. So we need to go this way, down ninety degrees. Okay. So what I'll then do is we'll tighten that up. So for instance, that that is now nearly tight because that's what's happened. We wanted. So that's there we are. So now let's get back out. So basically, look, we've. You don't even need to jack the car up or anything on, on the T5s. So now what we can do is, um, I'll take my light out from under there. I can go for a drive and we can just see where the steering wheel's positioned. So let's go and do that now. Okay, I've been for a drive now and it's basically bang on. So um, that has sorted it. So you know now how to adjust your thing. I mean, obviously if it hadn't done it perfectly, it needed a bit more, you needed to just maybe adjust it to um, an eighth of a turn or something. Um, but now you know how to uh, set up your, your steering, your tracking, after you've um, changed your, your subframe. So I uh, hope this, this video has helped. Um, give me a thumbs up. Any comments, um, send me a comment. Um, I was going to do a video about how to track it up if it was completely out, as in you don't know whether it's parallelly tracked or not. 
Um, I'm going to do a separate video on that because uh, I think it'll be just a bit easier to do a whole video on the on that. So um, keep keep look at, keep a look out for the the next video that comes up, and hopefully it'll be about the tracking. Okay, you can do it.